Okay. Oh, Should we do the... my... Oh. Yeah, <laughs> let's, I let's... started. It's episode 69. 69, <gasps> whoa, what? Finally! Do it, do it, do it. Do something great. Episode 69. Oh, 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 oh. How do the boys put a shift in? How do you figure it out? I don't know how to do the, the dick stuff anyway. Who's let's... taller? You know, it's a height it's thing at the end of the day. Do the fog. Step for the trusty hogs. Maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests, and Andrew White on the tech. Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the trusty hogs. Trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. Episode 69 of Trusty Hogs, welcome! And oh my fucking God, we have truly got today, like, a guest who, when I started comedy, I was obsessed with her every move and every word. I still am, frankly, but it was cool to know her well enough to not be weird, I think. You weren't weird. You were so chill. I don't know. Um, but if you... I love Ashling Bay. I love Ashling Bay. Love Ashling Bay. Love Ashling Bay. It's Ashling fucking Bay. It's so exciting. She's on our episode and we're so thrilled that she's she's here. And we hope you enjoyed. And if you don't, what's wrong with you? Uh, what is wrong with what's you? What's wrong with you? Look, uh, we chat with Ashling and then we solve a problem. Like, what more could you want? What do you want, want from us? Episode six. What do you want? I'll tell you what we want from you, though. Yeah. Oh, actually, could you? Could you? Would you? Would you please? You must. You simply must. Do you must. mind, actually? Do you mind? Could you? you would? Because the thing is, we were, we've been long listed. And long listing is fine. It's good. It's not enough. It's not a short list. You know what I mean? Like, long listed for the National Comedy Awards.co.uk. And, uh, Very nice. On the Channel 4 website, nationalcomedyawards.co.uk. Yeah, and listen, there's a long list and we're on there with a lot of other people and mainly their bigger podcasts, I'll be honest with you. Um, but we got Ashton B for you followers. today. Millions <laughs> we of got We've done 69 episodes and we've got Ashton B for you today. So maybe you could pop on there. Maybe you could pop on there twice. Maybe you could make a new email address and, and pop on there thrice. Who's to say? But if you could vote for us at least once at not National Comedy I've Awards. I've only voted once. Do you reckon I should get another email address? I know that you have more than one email address, so you could at least use the ones you have. What was that one I set up during Gigless called, like, Pokemon something? I don't know or care, but if you could vote for us on our own podcast. Yes. Could you guys please? Please, would you? Could you? Please. 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 Would you? You must. Thank you simply you. must. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Okay. Which is like, well, it's January. Yeah, I don't. I'm trying to um, dopamine dress. And so it's kind of like d- dress with the attitude you want. So here I fucking am in my like positive it. jumper. You wear fun January. knickers. Fun knickers always help no, me. No, the knickers are actually, now that I think of it, I haven't. These are very, like, they're, Basic. they're like a they're holding me yes and they're like there you go I've ne- I've always been uh, to the detriment name. of my sex life with men kind of like this is cotton for a reason <laughs> you know I love that you know that that's exactly what the lesbians want just to clarify with men the my women knickers. are like yes really I see your because comfort. with men I'm always like a bit, a bit kind of like oh I'm disappointed there isn't a sheer bit I'm like well you know men infections know that- aren't disappointed they're delighted when there they see go. a cotton Agreed. full pant do men know the word sheer? Sheer. Do yes, men know the, men word, know sheer. the word. They sheer. know the word sheer uh, Con. arrogance. <laughs> <laughs> And we're off, and we're off, and we're off. I have never oh, had a guy oh. complain about underwear, no matter how. Like, no, they'll never complain, but the you see from their eyes the way they light up. What it's like, you don't complain with a free meal, but you know what it's like when the meal comes and it's brilliant. Yeah, their you're eyes right. by comparison. Right. That's you're what right. it is. But I it's more to make like, the oh, wouldn't it be fantastic? Oh yeah, like I've at a certain level, I was like, some or sometimes I would say maybe go. I'm just gonna go upstairs for a cheeky little wee, and what I actually do is I go up, take off the cotton yeah. bits, yeah. put on the bits that are not good for sort of infections, and then yeah. come back down and go, "Yes, this is what I was wearing." Yeah. So I try oh, as well, but I just do a thorough right. wipe, a thorough wipe. Yeah, you wow. know what I mean? Because I want to start with the licking out. Yeah, so it's like if we yeah. are very wiped, yeah, yeah, then yeah. they're happy. Do you know what I mean? Wow, goodness! I would... or if you put a hand sanitizer on their tongue, save yourself a job. Cut out the middle. Could I that metal man? You're a fucking genius! Wow, that was actually I'm really... not a scientist because I didn't go to school for it, but... <laughs> and I've got a pump at home. I could just pump it in as they yeah, arrive. Yeah, Poor yeah, man. Yeah. That's what they're getting served and they're going to think it's a whiskey. Yeah. But oh, right, here's your star. <laughs> <laughs> I have to say, I think that there's sort of a, a middle ground that's nice, though, where they're on the one hand, yes, their eyes will light up at a certain degree of underwear. Mm-hmm. But I think if you go too far, if you do like a bodysuit or something that looks like it has ties of any kind, yeah. Yeah. they will then be like, 
this is a riddle. Is it challenge? Is it frustration? Or, yeah. I think the fear would be with me, which would be a fair enough fear that, oh, am I going to have to watch a show now? And you're like, yes. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. Make them laugh. Make them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> right, here we go. You Best song laugh. to get undressed to. Ooh. Because you'd need a bit, I think if you're a funny person, you'll still need a bit of like a lol about it. You can't immediately switch to like, ha ha ha, no, seriously, or yeah. else, yeah. you know. So I think something like Pony, like the classic stripper one was like, jump on it, let's do oh, that. That's nice. nice. That's nice. Okay. Because okay. wow. that's the one. Um, and then it's kind of like, ha ha, but seriously. I'm still stuck on the which premise, is the... which is that like, they'd, I'd be encouraging them to look at me while I took my clothes off. Yeah. Um, Something you know you could do it to, like to a nice beat. Because yours is fun. You're like a fun undresser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. I'd you have to pose the action. No, I reckon I'd go for like a really intense movie soundtrack. Right. But yeah. insist like, upon eye talking? contact. But then, Schindler's list. Cause, <laughs> probably. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Jurassic Park. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. <laughs> now, that's, that's great. That's great. I, my first thought was... Jaws? Who, my first thought was Who Let the Dogs Out, but that oh, feels... Oh, I love... That feels <laughs> aggressive. <laughs> also, <laughs> not you. That doesn't I feel like you. I would love the Baja men and you <laughs> just living your best life. <laughs> With my tiny titties being like... Oh, my huh? God. Who? Who? Yeah. Who? Oh, I would <laughs> love that. I just, but also, they're out. You won't be able to see... From that far, but they are out. Yeah, and, so the, and they look like a little dog going. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would really. Could you do a good that. wannabe Fine. from Spice Girls? Like, if you wanna be my lover. Oh, yeah. I think that's so far is down feminist lane. Okay. That the yeah. men it'll be kind of like, do, is this just for you, or was there any purpose of this that would be supposed oh to be for God. a cis straight man? Yeah, I have to. I agree. think. Could you try and manipulate them into feeling bad for you? So Although I try to pretend that I'm you. 17 when I have sex, so that would might give away <laughs> my age. <laughs> Four. Well, Four. someone genuinely no, 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 don't no. Make her got her. COVID <laughs> in their lungs <laughs> at the thoughts that that was my age. Look at my jumper. I just skateboarded here all the way from North London. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? I am. Um, here's, <laughs> here's the thing. <laughs> Andrew. Oh, Andrew. <laughs> oh, Did you do a shaggy it wasn't me? Well, no, here's what I was going to say is I don't know. Can, can we just go back to the premise, which is that like, would you actually like strip for someone? I have done it before. Yes. Have you? It's so great. Hot. That's so People, hot. it just honestly, if you, if you commit to it, but also it's a, it's, it's, it's the same as stand up. Like the idea that you go out and you go, I've got a microphone. You just sit there and I'm going to tell you what just happened. Yeah. We all know it's not. Mm -hmm. We all know there's a... And the only thing is that we both make a commitment that you're going to give yourself up to this and I'm going to really commit to the idea. And you know, like the days you feel low yeah. self-esteem and you yeah. say the exact yeah. same joke and it does not work yeah. because you've just got low self-esteem yes. and you haven't committed to the idea that mm -hmm. you are funny enough to be paid mm -hmm. and you need to dance hard enough like you should pay for this yeah in another wow. world you should be like you know who let the dogs out who who I and you know <laughs> you should be going yeah too right this is my money quid. song yeah throw you've some never out. stripped uh, no i'm a woman who falls over from standing quite often so the yeah, idea of then, having sufficient coordination to get tights off in front of someone trousers off but that's where you plan the outfit right okay so that's where you don't oh tight yeah you don't do anything you need like a bit of a okay, balance on just zip or or, or get them incorporated yeah, into yeah, it you yeah, can get them to pull play, the tights crowd work. <laughs> where are you from have you ever been to manchester <laughs> <laughs> let them do it let them be part of the bit yeah okay wait now it feels like you're stripping on stage in comedy shows instead of in front of sexual partners which oh, you haven't seen any of my new material. Okay. <laughs> and now, really I can't wait. I'll be there. I really now. hope one of our listeners is there at a new material show of yours. Uh, and the uh, music just starts no, playing. No, she's going to do the bit. Uh, <laughs> I guess. Uh, Here it comes. Jump on it. He's I welcome. Think... Catherine Bohart. <laughs> who let the dogs out? Who? 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 Also, I do. Can I also say, it feels a little bit like in a lesbian dynamic. Okay. Mm -hmm. There'd be some... Here we go. Here no. we go. No, Here no, we go. Can I say? Pushing may, it on us now I again. Say, There's two bras to deal with. This is going to be difficult. But may I say, <laughs> yeah. simply that, you know, like, okay, so the thing that I you have to worry about a little bit when you're dating a woman is like, I tend to date quite androgynous women, which I personally like because it means that when you go out, you're not like, they don't look in this, they haven't dressed in the same category as you. Oh, that it's not De Destiny's Child and the mother did the styling. Well, this is it. Can you keep up? <laughs> and they're all wearing a version <laughs> of the... Yeah. And so similarly, I, guess, I guess my concern with the stripping is you strip and then they're like, and now I'm headlining. 
Like, what if they do oh, it better than you? Oh, interesting. Like, you're being that observed is. in a female body by a female body. Then you turn off the music, unplug it, and go, I guess it's broken. Like, <laughs> there's ways of manipulating but wait, no, As in, you think that they might go, you think that's a, you call that a knife type of Steve Irwin type of thing. This I is guess, a bra. Yeah, I guess the worst case scenario is that they do an incredible strip tease for me. You know what? That but then you win. Be so you get a nice strip tease. Mm. And also it's about knowing, isn't it about knowing your partner and you've like tailored a performance for them. And it's about it's about the slow turn on. It's not about kind of like, what do you think of me new bra? <laughs> like, <laughs> it's a lot more, you know. I do. I am often guilty of saying how expensive the laundry I've just put on is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't you that. don't you dare rip this off now. We could have had a nice dinner at Noma or something for this. Um, I don't know what Noma is, but yeah, I yeah, laugh I though. No. I, do you know what? I said Noma, and Who the Nando's only reason I know that what Noma is is it's just gone under, and no. it was what the the new movie The Menu is based on. Because my oh. friend wrote it, wrote it, and he based oh, it on cool. Noma. Noma is that restaurant which is a kind of like almost parody one that was in. I get mixed up between Scandinavian countries, and our friend Brona will laugh if she watches this bit. I'm going to say Norway, but it could be Sweden or Denmark. Listen, like or I, it's Iceland, my one. Or, yeah, and, who knows? Yeah, Brona has. The, the, just to sidebar it for a second, one of Brona's siblings lived in one of those countries. And I added what I thought was him on Facebook, but was actually, <laughs> so, say, if her brother lives in Norway, I added someone with a similar surname to her in like Austria. Finland. Austria or Finland yeah, because like Andy, you know yeah. that because I got and I'm like oh friends with you and they just accepted me and I don't know who they are that's so funny and so because that's it was so I got the wrong country by the way I completely understand and I do think that Scandi countries cannot be t- told apart similarly these two same women and indeed Brona if you even tried to accidentally confuse us for English people would I assume yeah exactly kill, kill. but of yeah. course yeah. of course well that's just British women though isn't it <laughs> what are they? All of them, what are they? but um so just a bit of fun at the end of the day though yeah. oh, it's all yeah. just a bit of fun <laughs> can't say anything nowadays it's banter about Scandinavia <laughs> <laughs> they've got the monopoly on everything they have um, but this Noma is a restaurant in, in Scandinavia which is one of those places where there's only like 12 seats and everything's foraged mm-hmm. from like a forest right, okay. and, a la- and I tell you this much the price of knickers would barely get you in the door for right. a water so my whole like my whole metaphor didn't work something came out but it wasn't right and I regret no. I'd but like to publicly apologise regret nothing but regret nothing regret everything, everything. My Every God. single day I wake up regretting whatever happened the day before. All I, I do is this is not a good advert for the no, script. It's, it's, it's three women. I feel it feels like do you know when the first people you speak to are an audience? Yes, very much so. Oh my God. And it's like I will mm. be like, no, sorry, did I say that I meant to say that? Yeah, what? yeah, yeah. Did there just before Christmas I did a gig and Felicity Ward was at the back of the room and mm. I went, Oh, this is the first thing I've done all day. And she's mm-hmm. like, Okay, but well, you're gonna be fine, don't worry about it. And I got up on stage and I went, Hello, I'm Catherine. So I'm Catherine. Uh, I'm yeah. Catherine. I said my name twice. And you're just practicing twice. speaking. <laughs> hello. She, hello. She, hello. My name is Catherine. Hello. She just she Terrible. screamed. Laugh. And I was like, isn't he going terribly? Especially if you've been on your own in the house. Like, even if a Jehovah Witness comes in, they're even like, no, sorry, I'm, I'm not here to, like, I was here to try and get you on board, but it feels like you're trying to get me on board. No, yeah. just stay because I have a gig tonight and I want to talk to you. I I hello, Joe. Oh, I practice. Uh, yeah. Uh, it's yeah. a lot. It's I nice. love the idea of you guys warming up and Jehovah's Witnesses knocking at your door. Oh, I have done it. They're like, have you heard about Jesus Christ or whatever the message is? And I'm like, yes, uh, tell me more, but can I interject at times with a couple of gags? Because <laughs> I've been a little bit lonely in the mouth. I like. don't think Irish women should be left by ourselves, to be fair. I don't, yeah, I don't yeah. think. Ever, it's, ever. It's not right. It's yeah. not right. We prefer to have five codependents, I think. Um, otherwise, yeah, we get, we get uh, a little Jehovah's Witnesses. You know Witness the way you have to let a Guinness settle? That's what you have to do with my <laughs> words for a while. You have to let it settle and then later on top it up. And that's yeah. your pint. <laughs> yeah, you know? it's a very Again, good a very, I'd say that <laughs> It's metaphor. a very good analogy. <laughs> Is it though, Catherine? No, it doesn't Is make it though? Does it make I get what you mean, but I mean, no. no. But was it sweet and culturally relevant? Sure. Did we have to question it? No. We're having a nice time. Are you having a nice this time, is, I'm going to say this is a little bit <laughs> too Irish for me to follow, but I feel like I'm doing my best. You are. You're, you're really doing so trying. well. You're this like really Winston trying. Churchill. Thank uh, you. Is that a good thing? No. Um, it's hard again, to tell. <laughs> it's all riddles. Ding, ding, ding. That's a third bad metaphor <laughs> because I don't know what good things, I don't know who ever sat down with some Irish people and listened properly. I, by the way, also didn't even think that we were like culturally that I mean I know we're culturally different in that you're the bad guys we're the good guys but I don't didn't know re- no until recently how that. many references we don't have I did yeah. I played Articulate listen uh, can What's I be articulate? honest Articulate 
oh it's a game you'd love you describe a word the other person guesses what the word is but you can't mime or say the word obviously so it'd be something a like a very articulated in- <laughs> that was indeed well um, look we knew we were going to this party where they were going to play yeah. we were going to play Articulate so like any good lesbian couple we practiced in advance while we were on a romantic couple, holiday yeah. in Paris <laughs> Catherine will fucking win she will win when in doubt but are in- you competitive Yes, and the worst oh, part I is wish I was. the worst part is actually the worst part is I have so few talents, so I am constantly For the most you. competitive and worst. You would have been great ever. on something like the traitors because that embraced people who were competitive but didn't have a talent. Yes, and so similarly, she would get so yeah, teary yeah, on the yeah. traitors. You couldn't handle you'd it emotionally. Be very you'd be a mess. So yeah. personally invested, unless but came she was last a on, faithful. Yeah, that's true. But I think you get came last, competed so hard, competed more than any. But I was like, ah! you were terrible like, on that one. You, I'm great at so I will talk about it. <laughs> and so um, we were practicing, and in what I realized is there's no common references. So I get this word. Mm. Let's see if you know this, Ashing. Yeah. I was like, what does St. Patrick banish? Snakes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. With so, a magical pipe. She actually no, like, I was, she was like, what the hell are you talking? Was- I'm leaving. Okay. Yeah. No. no. <laughs> He banished, he banished it with a magical pipe though, didn't he? No, with the good word of Jesus. With the good word of Jesus. Oh my God, Helen, you're coming across real rat. silly now. Oh, the rats, the rats. Yeah. That was us though, Very wasn't different. it? The rats were us, no, you were the snake. But I was like... Magical yeah. pipe. <laughs> okay, why not? <laughs> I was like... She was like, why wouldn't you just say reptile with no legs? Why wouldn't you just say like slithers? Yeah, yeah. I oh, like, because you, and, and also it's like a first brain. Yeah. I think maybe I did play this game, but what do they call it in America at Christmas? Like at a Christmas party. Makes sense. And it's the the stuff that would like just come up the, the butt and everyone would know what it was. But I would It's, it's like your same. first brain. Exactly. Yeah. That. So route one. And another one was like a fashion designer has a name of a pope. John Paul thank you, thank Oh, you, I love this thank game. You. Yeah. Oh God, do you ever want to play Couples Articulate? Because yes. I think we must smash it. Oh my God, amazing. Yeah, she yeah, was yeah. like, she I want more clues. She I've got retells this now. story. I'm like, backing Ellen up 100% on and this. I was like, that is every Irish person. Every Irish person would get that. Thank you so much. Yeah, you yeah, really yeah. helped me out. I can even, um, if someone oh. tells me their name is John Paul, I can normally, I was like, oh, you were either born in 1978, 79, or 80. And or if your name's Sean Paul and they're like yeah and I'm like and you've either an Irish mother or an Irish father or a granny and they're like how did you know and I'm like deduction my dear man <laughs> yeah and if they don't have a foreskin they were born in like 89 in the court, University Cork Hospital wow yeah. very rare for an Irishman wow. not to but there you are that just shows the age of the men that I've been sleeping with because I was like I've never seen that <laughs> Yeah. And uh, yeah, and despite the, being a teen, yeah, hey, listen, just despite, and that's a problem. <laughs> this is probably a good time Fucking for me to ask all my Irish questions. <laughs> <laughs> this is very confusing. <laughs> Go on, ask this Irish teenager any question you have. Hello, as long seventh. As about Jedward and, and PlayStation. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're so hip. Is this a TikTok? <laughs> Am I in it? <laughs> Favorite PlayStation game. Crash Bandicoot. No. <laughs> great answer. It's a great answer. It is for the favorite name. member of Jedward. Oh, their they third brother names. Frank. <laughs> no, the, the obviously the best one's Tara Reid. Don't you just love that they live with Tara Reid? What? what? They live with Tara Reid. No, in LA. they don't. They have done for years. It's my favorite fact about Jedward. They all live together in LA. What? Whoa. Andrew, Google that because I feel like Catherine might have read that Fucking on the internet Google, and it's Google not away. true. Google oh my away. God, Why is Tara Reid invited them in? I think they probably... It's a weird once, choice. Once you invite them in, that's like... That they're yeah. saying. Yeah. That's a thing. They can enter um, whenever they like. Do you remember yeah. when the Queen died, the amount of people that found out she died because of Jedward? Because they were the first ones to tweet, tweet it. it. They were already online and they just tweeted it immediately and the amount of people that were like, oh my God, I can't believe Jedward broke the news. How am I like, finding the It's their them. favorite. <laughs> Uh, Google... Wait, wait, here we go. <laughs> be One of the Google results is, is Tara Reid going out with Jedward? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> <It's> <laughs> a terrible situation. But yeah, they are living Here's together. Here's my boyfriend's Jedward. Together. Yeah. They wow. what? They make TikToks together. Mm-hmm. I fucking told you. you I, am, I deserve an apology. Say. That <laughs> feels really heartwarming to me because That's it's nice. like, if it's like a month or two, it's kind of like, oh, is that for online purposes? If they've managed to be flatmates with such large personalities for that long, Years. there's a sense of gorgeousness and kindness in that. And can I just say that Jedward come across as very kind men. Boys. And boys and men. Yeah. Boys to men. And have never <laughs> been cruel, have always spoken out against the right things. Yeah. Mm. We're kind to people all the way through. Mm. No one ever talks about them as being problematic or anything like that. Mm-hmm. I think there's a lot to be said for kindness over coolness, guys. 
Hashtag follow me on uh, uh, teen.com forward slash the po- importance of being young. I think what Ashley's <laughs> trying to say is in a world where you can be anything, be kind. And Edward. No, 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 no. Okay, if, no. If, <laughs> no. No, no, it's no. be young. No, no, no. Young. If, if you could be like, say, you know, famous and mean, be kind. If you could be like, Wealthy and and I don't know you know uh, young yeah young then be young and then try and be kind really yeah 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 because yeah. I watched a film um, with Owen Wilson and Julia Roberts oh yeah what well, was that thank one? you very much it's on Netflix mm-hmm. um and I don't remember what it's called it's got a son who's got a face deformity in it oh wonder, wonder. Yes. yes yes apparently that's amazing. Wasn't Very teary, incredible. That, um, actor is the same one from Room, the little boy from Room, isn't it? No. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Back it's Jacob Andrew. Tremblay. Oh. Whoa, she's incredible. In the that, 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 Somebody that, works in the industry. That felt to me like I was like, <laughs> and you've lost your hat of pure joy. <laughs> what just happened? Did I know a fact? Oh, but this film is so emotional. <laughs> it's so emotional. And in it, they say. In in a world where you can be anything, be kind or something like that, and all the yeah. kids go, oh, and I was like, ooh, and it's incredible. I'm and sorry, I that's how Ashley B reacts to knowing a singular fact. I really want to quiz with you. Rare that it happens. Yeah, 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 like yeah, levitating yeah. by the end. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it right, Kathy? <laughs> I want us to play articulate, but I don't have it on my phone. I've got heads oh, no. up. No, we don't have time. And also, we do have to do a listener problem. But I want to play heads up. But I think Ashley will be really good at advice because you. Don't have... make her be the mum and you be the daughter here. You both have to have equal responsibility over the format, guys. Wow. I need you to both feel that. Oh my God, American Ashley's are very intense. Okay. Guys. And Irish Ashley's not not intense. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and Irish Ashley's very intense. Uh, as is. Yeah, if you saw Irish. what time is it now? Like, I don't know. Three to seven, I should have something between that. Three forty-two in the light box, no. Light box. <laughs> that was um, but yeah, very intense person. Surprisingly intense, I think, is some of the reviews of me and meeting me. I personally. don't think you can be a casual person and a comic. Mm. I don't think you can get up there and genuinely think yourself worth worthy of the time, mm. nor spend the time investigating any thought for long enough for it to become a joke, for yes. or like a bit. Yeah, for Let's you not, to be on the other end. Irish women, it's not a comedy thing. Like you think you're the, the state of a lot of you. Why like, would you say that, Helen? <laughs> what do you mean? Why the, the, the whole bunch of you is pure madness. You're just running around screaming all the time. Fair. You're actually very intelligent. Well, so we can and then you, you, yeah. you, the, the xenophobia pouring out of you all at all points. Sorry, well, like, what? Well, it's the most intense thing of all time. Uh-huh. Like you make us feel like your friends, and then you just say something casually, like, "Well, you're all evil, and that's what your grandparents did to us." And it's oh, like, I don't German, even know they? about it. Well, no, half German, half English, so, so half, half oh, great, yay. half great, half great. <sighs> Whoa! I think as a group, yeah. Irish women yeah. are up there as the most. <laughs> you know? Do you know what I did? I do remember doing um, this St. Patrick's Day gig at the Irish Embassy in London, and it was myself. Oh, it was, it was uh, and we were uh, hosting this. I and the year beforehand, I had been outside on the street protesting for abortion reform. Great, stuff. and I did, and I said, and it was a new, a new embassy, a gorgeous man called Adrian who became the um, new uh, what's they called ambassador mm-hmm. yeah. for Ireland in London, and I did think isn't this just like classic Irish woman that like you're outside going you're a disgrace the way the Irish government has behaved it's disgusting and then a year later go oh yeah I expect to be hosted and fed the next year inside <laughs> like it's, it's oh, that yeah, like and with him. no less like no apology me coming in going like let's go <laughs> oh, like, are you the woman who was like about to throw an egg last year sure was like no <laughs> but like screaming and yeah, shouting and having a lot of pretty changeable like, expect every view to be taken with the same degree of yeah, hospitality yeah, yeah, yeah. actually yeah. and that's fine well, you're very good hosts yeah, yeah obviously but the bitterness of hosting without being appreciated is also very intense oh yeah yeah oh my god so you know like, what I'm 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 I, like I, I was ready to sort of be up in arms once you kind of started this trail of thought and I've yet to disagree with you <laughs> <laughs> it's so absurd. I so, love Irish women as well, I know, but like, I, can I feel like you were trying to say absurd. it was a comic thing, but I think it might just be like Ooh, a cultural it's very thing. Very definitely observed. Because no. you can see the two of us are like, listen, you truth sayer. <laughs> you better cut out telling us the truth and seeing us so deeply. <laughs> but be grateful for all we do because we sacrifice everything for no, you at all points. That's true. We are, as a group of women, I think we predominantly Martyrs. give 
everything of ourselves without mm. ever having been asked. In fact, often yeah. told not to, yeah. told yeah. not yeah. to, yeah. and yeah. then immediately become resentful right, of the lack of appreciation. You know what I mean? We're yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. Yeah. I see it. Ooh, hey, let's there. help somebody else's problem, <laughs> shall we? Let's get into the potato famine now and how you deserved it. No, I'm joking. Let's do a list Helen of problems. Bauer. Oh, no. That made me so empty bellied. I know. I love a potato now. Give us one. Sometimes I think. feel sorry. Go out to the shop and get us two potato waffles. I was just about to say, sometimes. I think about potato waffles and then immediately think about you or inversely oh. think about you and go oh now I'm hungry for a potato waffle do you and put beans in each hole no. no me neither that mine is butter weird. no I, I feel open to it but we didn't grow up really eating beans we grew up eating spaghetti hoops mm. different families yeah. and families. you know uh, uh, so I mean we don't have time for this anecdote yet we here do. I am no, starting we do. it we do um, so the uh, I actually never admitted to this publicly so it's terrible um, but an exclusive oh an exclusive celebrity I'm so, um, so I uh, years ago put in how I cook potato waffles is twice down in the toaster Preach. at the maximum like yes. heat. Yeah. yeah. Takes it two times and that'll do it. Yeah. Never the grill. Always twice down the toaster. Yeah. No, before you ask, the frost from it doesn't ele- cause electrocution no, no, doesn't. in the toaster. Have you never put, Anyways, frozen, br- put frozen bread? Exactly. Well, okay. this is but like, oh, what about the water dripping out of them? And you're like, no. But if you're making chicken nuggets as well, then it is oven because you might as well just do it all in the same oven. Exactly. Shebang, sure. yeah. shebang, but then you have to turn over the potatoes so they will frizz. Mm-hmm. Listen. Um, anyways, <laughs> had that on my Instagram and then this, um, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, article was released that scientists have just found out that the best way to cook them is in toaster and this is about three <gasps> years later and people started tweeting me being like whoa 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 all this stuff and um I I was like lads I have been preaching this for years yeah, yeah. Weren't, people dare, weren't like, grateful enough and exactly and I'm like oh now I felt like kind of one of those men in an apocalypse movie who's been like the government's been trying to <laughs> yeah. run the world on the sea and no one ever believes me I've got my radio station I'm on fire and then like wait now you know that crazy old guy we gotta get to him before the flood hits Tennessee <laughs> and I'm like it's me the whole time <laughs> that's um, one of my favourite films yeah you know yeah, it's like, way. All yeah. In, but it's in all of the films that same character pops up but no one ever believes him <laughs> the waffle man and then, and then the divorced husband who has never turned up ever but suddenly is turning up in the middle of all of them (laughs) but that's again all made of a bit man you're like dad I wish you and mom will get back together like no he never turned up for us and then he's like come on I'm coming to the New York (laughs) library Jake Gyllenhaal stay warm yeah exactly Uh, anyway listen wow that's that's the genre you guys are deep in (laughs) All right. so uh, like deep impact same kind of story there we go straight women love a fairy tale so I was like oh guys on Twitter anyways potato waffles birds of potato waffles got in touch with me and said can we have your address Ashling because we want to send you something and I was just imagining Willy Wonka's <gasps> field of dream like here we go tons of ice cream mm-hmm. <laughs> like throwing potato waffles a lifetime supply like, a lifetime supply yeah and oh, then God. instead um, I get sent in the post one box of potato waffles you're joking and, you're joking. and with freezer packs and everything around it and I was like oh my god guys that is like such a waste of I could have gone to the shop that is such a waste of like our nature's resources yeah. of like yeah. you know the packaging around it also mentally your hope and my excitement my hope la, yeah. la, la, excitement I kind of get a bit annoyed I put them in the freezer and I send an email and they're like oh so we're really sorry we didn't mean to we thought it'd be kind of funny la 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 and I'm yeah. like well, that's fine. I understand. It was very kind of you to reach out, but whatever. Then about a month later, I'd gotten through my other bottle box oh, of potato waffles and I it opened these places. ones. It turns out they customised the whole box and I, with my ADHD brain, just didn't even see it. And on the front of this one specific box that they'd made just for me, it's like Ashling B, original potato waffle toaster. Like uh, the whole they'd oh made. Yeah. And I just gone, waffles? That's cheap. <laughs> and hadn't looked at it properly. And these gorgeous kind people at the potato waffle factory had made me <laughs> an individual to stop the production line yeah, exactly. to create and this one. And then I one. kind of tweeted a picture saying, like, oh my God, so thankful to the potato waffle company. But <laughs> Not at all a waste of our plans, resources and yeah, actually a lovely... I was eating humble waffle for the rest of the day. <laughs> um, and I just didn't see it. It was such a kind, sweet thing. They bothered to like design a little Stop logo in the corner. Stop trying to fix it on our podcast. It's too late. And I'd just like to take this opportunity No, to, it's too late. Uh, oh, Apologise to <laughs> the, um, the the potato waffle factory for you, the where you reach out. Oh, where is it? Straight ahead. Straight ahead. Mm. Hello, um, I'd just like to apologise. I jumped to a conclusion and it wasn't the right conclusion. And I I reacted, I didn't respond. And I apologised that for profusely. And I, as I ate my tasty golden waffles and I felt full, I also felt quite empty. Um, <laughs> and I'm so sorry for everything that happened. So what have we learned from this? The Nothing? English give oh, an Irish person potatoes and they get angry anyway. So <laughs> oh! Any 
Everything very we close. do, it's a <gasps> fucking problem. Wow, <laughs> Catherine. I'm so sorry for bringing you here. But don't you think? She's a very hostile no, environment. No, but I just feel really Can like... Can you see, rude. though? I feel like I doing know. this. I'm like, why do you see me so quickly? Because we have you to be the victim. Oh, put on it. Put on it. No, no, no. Put on it. Put on it. Let's solve a listener problem before this gets any more nasty. How about that? <laughs> Are potato waffles an English company? Birds like potato waffles. Interesting question. More back after the break. There are no breaks in this. There are no, no breaks. No. There are no okay. breaks. No, well. no. And no research, actually. So oh. <laughs> I'm afraid nothing can be done there. Well, I feel like they're never, English. No. We'll never know. Because if it's bird's eye, then it's Captain. The Captain Bird's Eye. He's, he's an English pirate captain, isn't he? You think he's a pirate? But is he, on an, is he manning an Irish vessel? R. No like, one's got that... an Irish vessel. R feels Titanic. Irish. Surely. Ireland. R. Ireland. I feel Ireland. like we're forcing that one. And then he might be like, us. Waffling Ireland. us. Ireland. Because it is bird's eye, isn't it? So then it's a fish finger man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bird's eye potato waffles are waffly versatile. They go with cheese, chicken, eggs, ham. Have you never heard of that advert? What the hell are you talking about? That was the soundtrack of all of our... I've literally (laughs) never heard that. What? Do it again, do it again. So I can't remember the exact... Yeah, you're too old to remember this youth song. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking pathetic. But so I won't get the list of foods right, but how the song used to go was like, bird's eye potato waffles are waffly versatile. They go with cheese, chicken, eggs, ham, beans, cheese, butter, friends. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I made them Mm -hmm. that last. Okay, but to friends. And, uh, they're waddle, waffly, versatile. And that's the song. It's so catchy. I remember BNBN. Yeah, well, this was BNBN. the Irish, I guess, waffle obsession. I feel like it was here as well. I'd oh, love to do, if anyone wants to do a dubstep remix of that. Bird's eye potato waffle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure waffly, someone would be willing to do it. Waffly, versatile. If anyone wants to, you've done it. It's done. You've written oh, yeah, it. It seems exactly. like you've, it feels like perfect smash. That's what being a teen is. Just dubstepping here, dubstepping. <laughs> Could that be your strip song then? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that potato waffle there. <laughs> oh my god! And you've got potato waffles covering all your bits. with cheese, chicken. And this eggs, actually eggs, appeals to all of my niche interests, uh, yeah. and I'm a little bit too excited. It's too much. I actually need you to stop because I need to calm down. I. Oh my I'm god! Very and you can put the cheese inside of you. Oh my god! Like douche with cheese uh, or something, uh, and it goes on cheese, and, and you shit it, it out onto it. the waffle. You're in no. You're in that You're in so good. You ruined, you ruined a perfectly I, lovely day. I was actually no, because really you could wear a bra with chicken fillets in it, and you could no, be like but chicken, if you chicken. Did a little waffle over your bra, I would be very excited. A little waffle, and then take them off, and then just like spaghetti hoops, just mm. strip down. Okay, <laughs> that's <laughs> hot. Oh, that's hot. And then dry again. No, because <laughs> wet, wet things make men hot. Wet things make men hot. Okay, they well, like wet. Right. As a fe- as a feeling, they, rather than true. like if you were like sand, they'd be like, "Oh no!" I think guys <laughs> would rather I be moist than be dry, but over all over. Oh, yeah. everywhere. They want you to be kind of slippy. I think slippery, like a slippery seal. Oh, because then it's like, gang, when I get you off. Yeah, and I'm like, oh, God. And they're like, men do love the chase. They love the chase. The chase. And they're like trying to hold your hand. They're like, no. Too <laughs> slippy. My secret <laughs> sunflower oil. <laughs> hey, say for birds. That's why you guys get on. Because, yeah, because chips. <laughs> perfect combo. Um, okay, please, can we have a problem from the listener? Yes. Make it intense. Um, oh, wait, this is very intense. I'll read you the subject <gasps> line. Okay. Help. Is my dad having an affair? <gasps> what? Need more, need more. Excuse me, who's this from? Uh, this is from Jay. Hi, Jay. Uh, hi, Jay. I'm sorry, I'm so intrigued I can't even say hi. Hi, Jay. <laughs> Jay says, um, Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Uh, Happy New Year. Thank you oh. so much for the last over, tw- uh, last, over the last 12 months. No worries. Um, this pop- do you still want to get to pop- Please. Yeah, okay. Um, I was very excited about spending Christmas um, for the first time in about eight years with my family. Things were going great and I was having a lovely time. I don't trust Jay already. Until it all took an unexpected turn with me and my mum deciding to pop to the corner shop ah. for a few last minute bits. Oh, ah! no, I can't hand. She's going to be the Emma Thompson. Oh. No, don't make it I've that. Don't make it that. From both sides now. <laughs> from Okay. This was the moment my mum decided to tell me that she suspected my dad was having an affair no. with I one of the neighbours. Popping to the corner shop? What a move, Mum! But if you suspect it, then what? But then at Christmas, if you need to get it, like there's no safe place at Christmas maybe to talk. So be like, we're gonna go to the shop now. No, sorry. If you suspect that of your husband, why have you popped out? Stay in the house. Keep an eye. (laughs) But then you need to go and like basically, or that could be a good. Yeah, you have. Tell us more about this neighbour. (laughs) <laughs> um, well, there's not much about the neighbour, but um, mum said that uh, back in August, dad had accidentally sent a text message to her that was intended for another woman. No, I'm because so sorry. Because of this, she decided to go through my dad's phone and found a number of flirty exchanges between them. 
and messages arranging secret meetups whilst no. mum was at work. No! I wonder when her suspicion peaked. <laughs> I know. I'm like, <laughs> how could we possibly tell? Yeah, but still none of this points to an affair. <laughs> um, apparently this has been going on for the last two years. He even oh. gone as far as saving the woman under a false name in his phone. Mum was obviously very shaken by this and decided oh. to confront both of them individually. They both denied anything was happening and insisted their relationship as purely platonic. She accepted this, although understandably, I get the feeling she doesn't believe that they are being truthful. I don't believe it either. Because it's worse if it's an emotional affair. That's my opinion. Whoa, well, huge call. Mm. Go on. Sorry, no, we'll come sex, back. Like, yeah, yeah, it's worse. We're going to come back to that interesting thought, mm. which is wrong. Go on. To make matters worse, she went on to tell me he had been doing the same thing with a different neighbour a few years back. Why can't get a bungalow in the country, madam? Yeah, get out of the area, yeah. dude. Um... Uh, Mum apologised for trauma dumping on me, but she needed to tell somebody as this really affected her. She asked me to stay quiet about it, and I agreed. Brackets other than emailing in my favorite podcast. Thanks for um, telling us. Uh, I spent the next few days trying to act as normal as possible while trying um, not to throw Tricky. up. Tricky. I was absolutely yeah. seething at my dad and seriously considered throwing him into a well. Yeah. Yes. Um, I've always had a good relationship with him. Uh, I want to see this housing area. Neighbours yet a well. Anyways. I'm picturing <laughs> some <laughs> Yeah. Helen's solution to every problem is to suggest that they throw the person into a well. So this person that makes a lot more sense. Yeah. About it. This person's trying to get ahead of that as a solution so that they might actually get some good yeah. advice. Like a well that could work the way out, but like after a year. Could they though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm struggling to trust him and act normal with him. Uh, should <sighs> I confront my dad about this and get answers myself? Do I stay quiet and internalize my feelings towards him? Uh, I don't want to upset my mom. I don't want to rock the boat, but um, it's very much shaken my relationship. Ooh. What do I do? Yeah, yeah. we are going to need a postcode. Um, yeah, so murder. And, uh, and, and like a, a street view. I'm yeah. picturing yeah. suburby close. Look, Catherine's already got her jacket on to go down. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, do let's go and solve this crime. Yeah. Um, hey, uh, this is really whoa. sad, isn't it? Because yeah. I think the mother has, whether she knows it or not, asked him for help. She hasn't just unveiled to get it off her chest. And it's sad to think that he, he or she is Jaya, he or she, or are they yeah. female, um, that they might be the only um, person she can reach Talk out to. to. And that's a very sad situation. Mm -hmm. And that they have become the couple in the family rather than the dad and the mother at this stage. But whether it's um, a real physical affair or he's gone don't worry it's nothing rather than going I'm so sorry that I've even emotionally lent on someone and not gone to couples counselling with you he's made someone else his wife basically even if they're not sleeping with each other and that's awful and for it to be so near that's a big sign of his um, uh, view of her and it's embarrassing as well he's like embarrassing mm -hmm. her within her world mm -hmm. and all of it is like a slow decline and scrape away at someone's self esteem a woman's self esteem and I think oh, that Jay should Definitely right uh, confront his dad, uh, but then we'll get Helen in to obviously do the like the stuff he can't do legally. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, you won't do that, Helen, will you? No, you wouldn't do that to Jay. no, I've got spray paint. no, I'm trying to get you out of this legally. Legally, legally. oh, I don't, I yeah, don't have spray paint. There you great, go, great, there you go. Great, well, then we heard it here, folks. Yeah, Your Honor, she I can key, I'll off. key the car, Helen. You won't <laughs> key the car, will you? No, I won't, but I will. <laughs> you got your honor. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, that feels terribly. What do you sad. think she should do? I think she should definitely confront her father, uh, inform her mother. And, You've got and to tell explain, the mum first. But I also explain, yeah, definitely. So she's empowered by it. Mm -hmm. But explain to the dad why even if this behaviour twice is great, like grounding away at someone, even if there was no sex and you could deny that till the cows come home. Mm. But the other behaviour is so demeaning and so cruel rather than like either admitting the relationship there is over and how that could like grate on someone's self-esteem mm. because you're put making someone a third wheel mm. yeah. situation and you're using someone else to comfort you to go to uh, that in the way you used to do. He's made someone else his confidant and wife and it's not okay. Do you think though... <sighs> Parent if trap, the pa invite all no, three to a dinner and trick him into having a conversation about <gasps> it in a Bella Italia. Oh my God, and me and Catherine could be there as a twin. <laughs> <laughs> And I think then you could maybe hash out a possible like mummy step mummy situation. That's also an option. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know why Catherine yeah. and Ashton are there to be honest. We're like Lindsay Lohan. Come on. We're the twins. Hiya! <laughs> I've oh just, my God, I'm I've just pierced her ear. What this drama doesn't need is two Irish women dumping <laughs> in. Yeah. I'll say that for nothing. Because then you'll help. The re it'll be all resolved and you'll just be there being like, they weren't that grateful. <laughs>
They could I have said thank you with a card. Thank you, card, card for sorting out. I can do the accent. No, no, no. I can do the accent. Yeah. 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 Came all this way. But listen, here's the thing I feel. Are you I just th- checking if you got uh, the way we fixed your uh, affair situation? Just checking in. Yeah. <laughs> just checking. Haven't heard from you, so yeah. just wondering if you checked the way. Nobody um, sent me a personalised waffle box. Just saying. <laughs> um, you know that like every big like, place does a like, like, nice gift basket and you just have it straight to the house. You don't have to like do anything for it. Fortnum and Mason, £45. Can, can yeah. I say, <laughs> I think... Card. That's all <laughs> yeah, no, listen, a card would be lovely. Do you know what I mean? A card, that's, that's all it took. Thank you. Um, but no, I think that Ashley makes some very good points. My worry is this. Helen also made some good points. What do you do? do if the father then denies it because that has been his MO right but he's denied the sex bit what I'm saying is like he clearly doesn't understand that even it doesn't matter he, he may well not be having and that's why he can look her in the face twice and, mm-hmm. and, and keep going with it but what he she knows is that's enough. an affair he might think no it's not I'm not doing anything and that's a classic I didn't do anything yeah organising to meet up with someone not telling your partner mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. having them around the house when you're at work it's and emotionally it's secrets yeah. it's hiding an emotional oh. connection also, not part, of, it, yeah. part of me thinks, does the dad, it seems like you want to be caught if you're doing two affairs with two women on the same street. Like, you can't, yeah, you can't go half a mile up the road. Like, yeah. that feels like you want her to know you don't want to be with her. Yeah. Like, you're or trying. It's, it's to the think. laziness is actually feels like a reflection on her worth as well. Oh, yeah. It's, it's an ITV drama. so true. Yeah. So, oh, my God. It is. Because it's easier to get one set, isn't it? So it's just easier to, like. Yeah, no, have that's one oh, oh, you're dead no? right. Yeah. It is less expensive. Yeah. You're dead right. And then right. the two of you lot. guys come in. There's always like, you know, someone with an accent and then an English person. You know, Thank you. like, yeah. what's your man's name? Um, you know who I mean? Who's always playing an investigator? Uh, cold feet. Uh, of course we know him. He's very lovely. Oh. I um, do know he Martin means Clune? No, no, not Martin no. Clune. Oh, yes, no, Northern no, Irish Martin Clune. Oh, is he? No. Okay. This person I'm thinking what of. What is um, his name? Karen yes. James. Fleet. With the with the black hair. Yeah, like um, was in Cole. James Nesbitt. James Nesbitt. James Nesbitt. James Nesbitt. James Nesbitt. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Was, now talk to me about these texts that you yeah. received. <laughs> yes. And at no point, so he denied twice after these situations. And, and how did that make you feel? And do you think she was angry? She wrote into a podcast. Okay. Hire an Irish detective. Is that your solution then? Yeah, yeah I mean this one. And, and then while and while while I'm kind of talking away, doing this or whatever, you be chatting away. Helen be like this, like looking like two teacups in a sink. <laughs> <laughs> yes! yes, this is the <laughs> ultimate solution. <laughs> Just why do they always knock on the wall? Yeah. Always. Okay, hire a private investigator, get more evidence, and then, and then, then be confront like the with an Irish detective. In the basement. That's kind of like. <gasps> Gov! Gov! And it's always ah! Gov. It's always and there's gov. a secret family down there. Yeah, and they're yeah, your yeah. siblings. And then you find out you've got a rare disease, hey, genetic disorder, hey, and you Helen, need a blood Helen, transfer, hey, and those hey, siblings Helen, will provide hey, it. Hey, Helen, hey, let's remember that Jay is a real person. Yes. Oh. So we don't want them to think that the might, he might have a secret family. Jay? Because it's already quite there's stressful. A family it's quite distressing. But I will say, if they do have a secret family, we know where to find them. And next door. <laughs> <laughs> or the other next door. Or the other next door. Oh, Jay, I'm so fucking sorry that that's happening. I don't think we paused to say that I'm sorry. A, that you... Definitely blog the whole thing as yeah. well because I think a lot of us would be interested in following what's no, happening. No, for sure. But also, I'm so desperately sorry that that's happening. Yes. And also... It's what... a degradation of your mother's self-esteem and you know she wouldn't reach out to you unless she really was at the lowest point. But the and other that's thing... real sad. The other thing that I want to say yeah. is that like, for Jay and her dad's long-term relationship... Yeah. Mm. People can be good dads and bad partners. Yep, yep, yep. People yep, can be yep. good moms and terrible friends. People yeah. can be good, and and that's so hard to acknowledge. Mm-hmm. Right? That's really, it's really hard to put those two facts together because mm-hmm. you're like, especially with parents, because you, I think, elevate them to sort of godlike state. Yeah, all knowing and um. And also, like, somehow indicative of your moral capacity as well, because you're like, well, I'm of them, so maybe I'll do what they do. And um, Would you not think it's worth explaining to him that if you treat her like this, you're treating me like this? Absolutely. Because she's an extension of me. Absolutely. So it's not like you deciding, you guys deciding to healthily break up and I have to remove myself as an adult. This is like the way you're treating a member of our family I, is is just ruining my respect for you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's like it's about the way he's God going about damn, this moment. You're good. But I feel like she has to explain the nuance to that man that even if they aren't having sex, clearly, like he's explained it so well to the mother that she in some way believes him. But she knows in her heart this ain't right. Yeah. And so she, the daughter, the daughter Jay, I think you need to explain to your dad how that would affect someone and give him a chance to actually realize 
what he's done. Listen to the Esther, not this uh, this podcast, obviously listen to this first, but then the Esther Perel p- podcast, Where Should We Begin? Because that is yes. bringing people, couple after couple in to couples counselling and helping both sides see the other side. And my it's always blown loves my that. mind. Oh my God. Loves it's it. so good. Because she's always like, you think you're going to go in and go, I hate the person who's having an affair or I hate the dad, we're going to mm-hmm. murder him and I hate the mother. Whereas actually, sometimes people just don't have the skills. And for me, this sounds like he probably isn't having an affair. Mm-hmm. But this emotional thing that he's enjoying with the neighbour, he cannot understand that that's an affair. Mm-hmm. And that's what he needs to understand. Oh, Helen, good. please. So I listened to lots of that and I thought it was good. Other option. Your mum mm. needs a sexual revolution. Yes. You and your mum. Not mutually exclusive. Go to Anne Summers. What? No, why together. does Jay have to go to? No, Jay doesn't together, have to go Because now you're involved. Or in she could go to an ethical life. lingerie shop. Woohoo! Oh, a small what, local business. Anne Summers. Oh, Where all this on, stuff is all made. It's not made. Okay, here, go to like some know. grannies at WI. Get them to knit you something like sexy for mummy. Yeah. <laughs> and then crochet shop. Yeah, crochet panties. Yeah, no infections there. Yeah. Well, just cotton co- crochets. <laughs> well, guys, remember with cotton, cotton does kill. Okay, and it's important to remember that cotton uh-huh. kills. If you fall in water in in the tundra, in the Arctic tundra, and you're wearing cotton, you have to take it off immediately because it's better to be naked. It will, it, it will suffocate you. It will, um, it'll weigh down like lead because it'll all take in water. It takes in water and it keeps it to your skin so you won't be able to warm up. So remember, if you fall oh, in water and you're wearing wow. cotton, you take it off because cotton kills. Why is there sexual revolution? Cotton in the t- kills. Why is there sexual revolution <laughs> in the tundras? Know. Guys, can we stay on message? So, but like workshop AM sexy like little darn striptease for mummy to do. Work out daddy's signature song. You know who wants to be a millionaire? I feel like neighbor. Helen would be in the sequence where it's like, how do you know the answer to that question? You're like, because cotton killed because in the tundra didn't kill. <laughs> yeah, 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 and that yeah, reverse yeah, back yeah, to yeah. this when you're like, do you know what? We ridiculed her for years. Said it had no relevance to the story. But here we are, a millionaire. This entire <laughs> podcast is every single, Ellen will, Helen will make a, like a huge dramatic statement. We'll all be like, that's implausible. And then she'll be like, but wait. And then, and then I'll fall in a lake or something like that and I'm like Helen <laughs> <laughs> it's important to know basic survival skills particularly at this time of year with people falling in lakes yes wow yeah. okay well Jay hey listen even if you don't save your parents marriage which is apparently now your job you have figured out how to save your own life in the tundras and that if you're wearing all the cotton Catherine Bohart. She knows that how to finish the show. Such a lovely, <laughs> seamless, tidy. You think I, I knit, missed it? Knit, knit. I missed it. You I think I don't it. need to recap madness frequently? Come on. Um, do we have time for one? Do you have time for one more problem? Yeah. Well, I'll oh my leave God. it all my my own at home. So oh bring them on. Great. Andrew. Cool. Uh, this is from uh, C. Hi, Hi C. C. Not me. C. Mm. Yes. Is everyone just named letters? Yeah. 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 Ah, that would make sense. Yeah, yeah. That nice. makes a lot more nice. sense. Yeah. Jake. You can't really write in and say my dad's fucking two of the neighbours and put your full name on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bauer. yeah, yeah. but you could lie and say it's, you know, Greg here. No, sure, of course. Yeah. Of course. That's, imagine that's a first but then name. Yeah. I mean. Imagine that's your most dramatic, like, yeah. Fake it could name. be <laughs> Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Ready? So C says, um, thank you so much. You helped me get through some uh, rough times during the pandemic. Uh, mm. Love the You're pod. Welcome. You're welcome. Uh, here's my problem. Uh, I'm a bi man in his late 20s who has never really dated or done much before. Mm-hmm. A single bi king. Uh, a few months ago, I started... Are you just saying words that you just learned? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, a few months ago, I started seeing a lady. It Yay. was really great. We saw each other all the time. Uh, but recently, she's got a dog, which is a bit out of control. Now, whenever we see each other, either it includes the dog, which is exhausting, mm. or she has a very strict time schedule and has no energy, mm. again, because of the dog. Uh, I have yeah, a lot put of it self- down. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> uh, I have a lot of self-esteem issues, and I'm always a bit anxious about the relationship, uh, and I'm having trouble feeling like um, uh, she doesn't like to hang out and isn't interested in something intimate, oh. um, which is what I really want. She says she is, but I never feel like a priority or like she's willing to make the sacrifices that I am. Mm. Uh, any Killing recommendations? Killing the dog. Tips for being patient while she sorts out her dog situation. Am I being unreasonable, expecting her to occasionally put this relationship before the dog? Oh, I feel like um, the start of that doesn't have much to do with the end of it. I feel like it was like a good intro to see, but did we need to know all the facts? Not really. Interesting. Um, but I thought it was useful to know that they haven't dated before because I think oh, coming into that this, he hasn't dated much he before. He hasn't dated much so he before. he doesn't have loads of experience of so relationships. he's very anxious about, mm. I think maybe you'd be like triple second guessing all of your moves. Ah, like, because, because you were finding to. yourself earlier. Then I remove and think? retract my statement. I'd like to do a, pu- a public apology <laughs> again. Stand the lens, stand the lens. If this person works for the Potato Waffle Company, then... <laughs> 
I don't know. I retract what I said. If we have a listener that works uh, for Bird's Eye, I swear I to fucking God, we're getting personal. As an opportunity to grow and learn from my mistakes. Yes. And I apologize and will make a donation to Vikings dot com Vikings, which yeah. uh, turns out I just ended up buying a helmet for <laughs> uh, in the end of that but um, yeah sorry let's move on mm-hmm. um, you know there's that uh, uh, book called Attached and it looks at all different sort of attachment theories like what sort of attachment heard of it haven't read so yeah. oh I'm, like, l- I just read the synopsis of all the attachment styles online yeah like the, the synopsis and you, get, no? you get it yeah. yeah you do get it like there's insecure attachments uh, which is someone who you might describe uh, as quite needy the secure no. attachment <laughs> <laughs> I get um, you like me, don't you, Helen? <laughs> You're my best friend. Okay, me guy. too. Yeah, don't go ever. I'm an actively <laughs> attached person in relationships, for show. Sure. Yeah, and then, but in the middle is secure, which you, and it doesn't mean that that person doesn't have needs or wouldn't be anxious, but it doesn't like take over their lives a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then on the other side is the um, what's it? Uh, um, Emotionally dependent, sort of removed. Removed. Yes, uh, there's a word for what they're called, and I can't oh, remember. Oh no, there is. What is it? Um, uh, 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 secu- uh, anxious attachment, Helen. Secure <laughs> and uh, the third one. Um, anyways, what is it? It's avoidant. Not, thank you. I thank you. I was the like, avoidant. Absent, no, avoidant. Yes, avoidant. Thank and you. so, um, what is interesting about reading this book is a lot of it comes from your genetics, or and it's a it's a little bit too simple. Of course, there's like facets of so many different types of things. But broadly, one of the things I liked about it is we would describe maybe the uh, the anxiously attached person as um, insecure or needy but one of the quotes in it was always you're only as needy as your unmet needs so when a needy person feels seen feels like they're secure in a relationship they can actually do without texts they can do without Mm -hmm. compliments because they know the person likes them they know on a fundamental level almost like Jay's mother or this person with the dog if you knew that person really liked you then the dog being there wouldn't matter it's not about the dog see (gasps) and and then that wouldn't really matter whereas actually you've you the thing is that you fear they're not wanting to be intimate with you and that's kind of causing the issue what I learned about this is that the avoidant person sometimes um, th- that's a real odd combination the mm. avoidant because the, the more needy you are with them the more they pull away because they need space to calm themselves and you need reassurance to calm mm. yourself yeah. so you're both looking for calming like Pepe Le Pew and the skunk <laughs> another teen cartoon reference there. <laughs> Who's I think it's Oh, Helen. Helen uh, you're like, too old it's for young to people. understand. It's for young people. Peppy. It's basically like this um, back in the day cartoon where this uh, smelly skunk now would probably be me too um, would oh, like no. follow around this cat being like, mm, I want you. And she'd be like, no, no, no. And we were like, ha, 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 ha. And I would be like, no, no, no. Arrest. One time she was like, okay. And he was like, yeah, so that really? was the chase. Yeah. So the cat was being a whore, just teasing the skunk. Uh, no, no, she's no, very no, 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 not from it either. I didn't, didn't get that. I did not get that from it either. Not, though it did seem no. to be a lot about how she was dressed, like a cat, like, <laughs> yeah. like a skunk. Mm, mm, mm. Um, but but yeah, this. Uh, uh, so that so sometimes you have to learn to go let that person have space. And actually, then they'll feel safe that they can have space, and then all, and they'll come back to you and give you your needs. But that's kind of so still. You think he's just in the wrong. The, it's not well, work out. I would say <laughs> it's trying to explain so what you need as a first port of call, or say sometimes I feel I love your dog. Sometimes I feel like. I want to be more intimate with you. Is there something we can do? Not like get rid of the dog or make it seem like they're doing something wrong, but is there a way you can reframe them? Can we have time together on our own? Yeah. Not, can we have time without the dog is a very different sentence to someone who loves their dog. Mm. Then could we have time just us is very different mm. to without the dog sort of thing and, mm. and working like if we go bring the dog for a walk, then put it back, then go for dinner and have some time together or whatever it is. Yeah. Just as a middle ground in this and if you constantly feel like you're still chasing to feel secure, Mm -hmm. that is just such a long, you'll be chasing that for years of your life, I would say. And And it's okay to have needs though. Yeah, but it's okay to feel like you want reassurance. It's just like if you expect them to know from like game playing or silence or like, oh, I suppose I look ugly today, do I? <laughs> Can I that's say not going to bring around a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> Whereas, but I've that's tried what you that do. so many but you times. You do, you're like, oh, I, I, was, I, was I really shit at the gig? Is that what you didn't say anything? Because I was really shit. And that's like poking someone rather than going, yes. oh, do you know after a gig? But poking's I good. Need, I need a little bit more reassurance. I know it might seem like a lot, but I actually need a lot more than you might think mm. just to say that I was good or whatever it is. Tell me I was funny. Going, what you want to say is that, but instead you can't verbalize it. So you, because your your instinct is like, oh, you hate me, I'm blah, 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 and you play your game. 
So oh in this situation, God, I would try I some hate how much I'm learning about myself. <gasps> I hate it. This is like me listening to Helen bang on about Irish people. I'm like, Helen! Ooh. But really good for you in the long it's run. It's a triangle. Mm. Now you need to learn something from, if, if, I, if you learn something from me, I learn something from Helen, then you need to learn something from Catherine today. Okay. There are other types of sex than just being eaten out while you eat a Domino's. Whoa. You're lying to yourself. <laughs> She's lying. Love can <laughs> feel. And I'm like, I won't be wearing cotton in an icy lake anytime soon. <laughs> you're lying. No, truly. I mean, none that I do, but I've heard. Yeah, but your sex sounds so long. Oh, maybe it's I'll like... so <laughs> sleepy. Maybe it's like, you are worth a pizza papagon. You are worth a sourdough, high-end No, pizza. I'm a poo. I don't deserve a Francomanca. You do I deserve don't. a Francomanca. And you deserve, deserve to not it. have to pay for that Francomanca. No, because everyone oh. thinks I'm ugly and everyone hates me. You're so beautiful and one of the funniest people on the entire everyone UK comedy me. circuit. Everyone hates me. And you're brilliant. Thank you. And if, they, and if they do hate you, it's only because you're so beautiful and so good at comedy. Yeah. Thank you so much. I feel empowered. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> you're only Sorry. as needy as your unmet needs. Yeah. So if we didn't tell you that enough from the start, then that was on us. I well. have a lot of unmet needs, I feel. Can I? At home, I have to um, trick my housemate into giving me a cuddle every morning Aww. by physically restraining him. And he screams no on repeat really loud, really scared. And I have to hold on to him. Oh, sorry, Ashling. Peppy oh, Le Pew. Because <laughs> <laughs> of, of my unmet needs. I smell a skunk. <laughs> yes, oh. but imagine if you were like, hey, listen, to avoid us both feeling weird in the morning, is there any way you could come to me with a hug by 9 a.m. every morning yeah. or some physical touch or hand holding and you I come asked. to me and you would probably only need a hand hold, not a whole hug no. at the start. But like you, you might surprise yourself by going, oh, when he came to me to give me physical affection to say, I yeah. see you, I, I, I feel what you need. Yeah. You'd be like, done for the day, grand. Yes, Anil Patel, stop being such a dick. Yes, Anil Patel, stop being such a fucking dick. Give me a cuddle. Can I also say, though, I'm, I'm going to say... Cuddy club. I'm going to say, you've brought something up for me that I'm just going to... I'm wondering if anybody listening will be feeling the same way. It's like, I hear you and I think you're dead right. But also, doesn't it make you feel awash with shame, disgusting and dirty to have needs? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyone? But that's the awful like... bit. But only when you realise that someone can meet them or the bits where you work on the bits that you need to let go of that an expectation that it's someone's job to be there for you. Like sometimes you should expect your friends to soothe you, your loved ones to soothe you if something bad's happened. If you're constantly reaching out for people to soothe you, that's an unfair need to put on mm-hmm. someone else and you'll never be happy mm-hmm. and you'll go to bed chasing it. And that is what I found in 17 years of my life that I've been on this earth. Wow. And but your neediness is so reasonable. You've got like, you should never feel guilty. You have such reasonable needs. You but love, the, but that's you saying, like quality time with individual that's people. saying that yours are unreasonable. And actually, mm, if you so meet true. someone who every day loved hugging so fucking much and loved hugging all day long, my um, uh, best friend, Brona, we hug each other all the time. We love hugging. Yeah. We I was just say, every time I see, don't so I want to? I want to be held tactile yeah. with each other, and yeah. that's okay for you to want more hugs than maybe Catherine or I might need. That yeah. is not a crazy um, uh, want. It's when I you're want with people the wrong to take person. me to the zoo. Yeah, if you want to go go on dates and stuff like that, and you'll probably reward them with gift baskets of jokes and funniness no. and energy. I bet energy, you energy, energy. Yeah, that's what I mean. Not like gifts. as it no, not I like mean that. gift baskets of jokes. Yeah. It was a metaphor. I was trying to. Lean I into. buy Catherine gifts. And she doesn't get it, get it. But but see, that's the they're the love yeah. languages that that you'll reward them in a, such a way yeah. if they just give you hugs all day long, and that's what you're saying. I need to be hugged. What are your needs that I need to meet, Catherine? Let's let's solve us. Oh no, I think you're actually a phenomenal friend. I w- I would say simply no, that don't. I would say simply that I'd say I you're very loved from what I know of you. Yeah, I no, really no, genuinely no. feel supported by you. I think that well, you shouldn't. I think the issue is that when I leave, having been supported by you, my immediate feeling is guilt that I lent on you in any way, which is ridiculous oh. because we lean both ways. But I no, I, I, I lean on you more. That, I will. Re- I'll pay that sort of like. Oh, am I being a drain? Am I being a negative person? Mm. Am I being? A, am I being like that's not really like? Have I ruined their day? Have I like I because I find. Um, Do you feel that when you're like I'm um, sad to me, despite yeah. the fact that I'm like way sadder to you more? Yeah, I feel more because in truth I feel more comfortable being the person who's lent on. Yeah, yeah, you do. You really thrive in the um. Oh, yeah. this person's sad. And yeah, also, I don't leave with any guilt or anything like that. Whereas like mm-hmm. yes. And I oh, probably also if one of her friends is in any emotional or physical peril, Catherine comes alive. She's yeah, like, yeah, this yeah, is my yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah, I'm a real yeah. ambulance chaser. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Who let the dogs out? <laughs> <laughs> 
I wouldn't invite Catherine to ever come to A and E with me because I'd yeah. lose her to about ten other people. <laughs> She'd be doing like yeah, anything gonna get fucking anything. day oh, shifts, just going to the Costa right. and back. I yeah. would bring tea yeah, for twenty yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Of course. <laughs> for but sure. that's a gorgeous quality. But that's that isn't yeah. that an ultimate caregiver problem that you this. don't know how to accept the same care. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's about control as well over what people think of you. I Correct. Think. It's definitely about control. God. Because oh. I think sometimes mm. when you're sad, you want space. But I don't know if I'm misreading that. But isn't this where we need to be? And like, if you can't say your needs to someone, yeah. you go, oh, God, you know what? I might need a bit of space. Yeah. And they're like, oh, well, if you hate me, then I'll leave. You're like, you need, I need to be able to say to you what I need without you making it like a dramatic statement and hear what I say. And you need to be with someone who will, you'll work out a language between the two of you. Like all of us are afraid of saying what we want. And then we get so angry when people don't get it from like our bells and whistles and riddles. I riddle me this. Yeah. And here I am in the jungle. How did he not know that I just wanted a compliment? So yeah. you do you yeah. want to come on the Sound of Music tour in Salzburg? Um, no, but but that's not a reflection on you, yeah. and that you want a friend <laughs> to come here for every because you want someone to come close to you and experience the joy that you get from the Sound of Music like tour. To take the is not a bad day. I need someone to take, and the you should deserve someone who will be so excited to take those pictures. That will not be Catherine, and the whole thing will be fraught with tension, which will ruin your experience of the Sound of Music yeah. tour. Only like half a day. It's not a big deal. But that to Catherine, it is a big deal. But you deserve to be around with someone who doesn't see the transport as an obstacle. Who doesn't (laughs) find that draining. Who would be like, oh my God, we get to go on a train. We get to be there. We get to sing. I'll hug you all day. I'll take as many photos as you need. Let's do some reels. You see what Gwyneth did for me in Disney World? You could be that person. And she doesn't want to be that person. She right. wants to be there for you in a different way. She That's wants to be the person true. who like sells your wares and just goes around going, have you ever met Helen Bear? She's the funniest comedian I've ever met. Oh my God, she's I amazing. Do I want to do that. a podcast. She I turns up that. in a bunker in Vauxhall. It's like, <laughs> I want to start a business with you where we literally back each other from a business level and elevate each other's careers. That's how much I love you. But I do not want to go to the Sound of Music tour. And that I is I love okay. this woman. I love you. Hey, do you, do you want to come on the sound it's just of music? What teams tour? think about because we've been all their jobs. Hey, do you need or want anything from us? I feel like you deserve some love. Um, apart from like, listen, I, I swear to God, I, you're the only people I'll have talked to all day, so <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, you're good. Okay, yeah. cool. I am. Um, I thought I was getting so good at emotional stuff because um, I've started getting Botox and it's forced me to express myself more. Oh, than I, especially um, with your mouth and stuff. Yeah, because and yeah. my uh, girlfriend's like, if you're not frowning, then I don't believe you. So and yeah. that's how she gets out of trouble. She doesn't want to be in. So then I've like, kind of over. I'll probably think about getting that in twenty years or so. No, of course. And listen, you shouldn't yet. My God, on that baby face. <laughs> <laughs> Teenage thing is so great. I'm fucking loving it. Yeah. I'm, I'm a toddler. I'm just four. So there's. Oh difference. my god. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you could mind you. Babysit. That's so nice. You can take care of me. Babysit her. Yeah. yeah. A handful, but I love her. <laughs> She's a big four-year-old. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> um, last question. We're not. We're, I mean, we're absolutely taking up way too much of your time. But Ashing B, where can people find you? What would you like them to find of yours that you're making at the minute and doing at the minute, or is when will this go out? Hey, listen, in two weeks' time. Oh, next God. week. Literally next week. Yeah. Yeah. Literally next week. Literally, literally next, next week. week. Oh God, I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what to find. And what time alone oh. on Plus is so good. No, I would say... Um, <laughs> the frown is there. Um, no. Oh, I don't know. So um, good, if you haven't twice. watched This Way Up, series oh. one and two, please go watch oh, it God, on, so uh, on, on Channel 4 On Demand if you're in America. It's on Hulu if you're in Canada. I don't know where it is in Canada. There's a lady in Australia. It's on Stan Australia if you're in France. It's on uh, Canal Plus. Uh, yeah. and, um, if you're in South America, it's on Direct Go TV. I don't know what that is, but that's wow. on South America. Um, so I just, God, I don't know. Oh. That one maybe, and uh, also if you haven't watched this way up, I'm so jealous of you because now you get to watch it, and oh. I wish I could watch it again as it's not, having not seen it's it. I watched it challenge. twice. It's so good. It's and so also, good. Uh, I don't have a TikTok yet because that's something the old kids use. But yeah, me too. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm in my mum's Instagram on Weebersby.com. <laughs> nice. Com. I even said dot com about Instagram. <laughs> it was it was tense, and I didn't want to listen. Um, that was a, that was you being ironic in that the way that you really imagine are. if I took off my hat and revealed like the whole thing was a wig and running. <laughs> <in. laughs> <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like a Scooby Doo reveal. And it was, ho- like it was holding one. back my my face, and then it was like. <laughs> <laughs> I, I was, was like, chatting about this the other day. I'm 100 what? years right. <laughs> what so old hair favorite. do you want to have? Because I was saying, I want to go pure white and then rinse oh. the end. Like, do you know what you want? Because my friend wants to go long witch. Wow, pure white. But she wants grey witchy vibes. In- I don't want to go grey. I want to go my colour and then 
pure white. I was bleach blonde, like blonder than you for like <gasps> 10 years. What? So I think I'd go back to like bleach blonde and then white. I think wow. that would be my route. And I... I'd love to have pink, like I'd love to have Blue rinse, hair. pink yeah, rinse. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's love, what I was love, thinking. Love, love, love. I'm going to dye it red and have gold hoops till I die. Red, yeah, yeah. red really? lipstick, red hair, yeah. gold hoops. And Even the, if you're like crumbling all around it. Your hair won't change too much because it's curly. No, the curls will stay, will stay, but I just think it's going to get big white roots and I'm fine with that. I want red hair, red lips, gold hoops. Love that. Love I, that genuinely. That. You'll pull it off as well because you've got very young looking skin, freckles. Thank you're gonna you so much. I pay so much for it. That's yeah. really, I was going to go the for world. a Diana Pixie yeah, yeah, yeah. cut all Thank white, you. but still broad shouldered. <gasps> you like, want to go Pixie cut? Yeah, you Pixie think... cut, all white. Why? Mm. I can see. Make the shoulders a feature, like really oh, show them off. You know off. what I mean? Or like a, like a, like a step down to here like this oh, oh my god yeah. I want to be like old and cr- everything crumbling like tits down here but like yeah. the shoulders be like, like a crow power yeah like like powerful okay I, just... I don't want that for you I want your shoulders back and open so you can breathe in fully into those lungs <gasps> yeah yeah that's important for us to do oh, is to not a do, good this, friend. Is to do that because then when you get more panicky and we get more anxious the more we do this because we're not taking are they related airs. do you think it works that way rather it than is, the other way this is science science so if you're like this all the time like the Lent depressed in. physique mm-hmm. that you might see though that person looks sad they're also t- you're taking in less air when you're like this <gasps> and you're, you're breathing uh, which is telling your brain that th- bad things are happening whereas at least this way your lungs are open old Helen is like hello the Apollo and wheel her <laughs> on with her like Step cut, giant shoulder pads. With a moose knuckle when you're 80? Oh yeah. my God. Helen I accidentally wore trousers. Maybe that... wings, back, like shoulder pads out like wings. Phenomenal. Did you tell Ashley about when you did Apollo and you accidentally wore a... Um... I had a camel toe. Oh, Bubba. <laughs> so... And everyone was commenting that's on it online. That's very hard to see unless it's... That's very hard no, to see in obvious. advance. Yeah, yeah. I agree. No, but in advance, in lighting, you never know what something's going to look like. Honest, date. that's I'm really and sad about that. Someone was trolling all the trolls saying I had a camel toe, which isn't really trolling when you do saying a camel toe on that. That's a moose knuckle. A moose. So what Quite would funny, a moose isn't knuckle? it? Bigger, it's like, bigger it's like for the bigger laugh. What's annoying when you get trolled laugh. online is is when it's Correct. funny. Or yeah. incorrect. Yeah. yeah, funny because I liked it by accident. Yeah, that's such a funny comment. <laughs> and then everyone can see that you were reading yeah, your yeah. comment. And then what you do? Do you delete it? But they know and they could screen oh, that. Mm. So frustrating because it was yeah. so good because I wish yeah. I got there first. And also I do. I in general I quite a present big yeah, yeah, vagina. Yeah, yeah, like it's yeah, very yeah. like yeah. she's friendly. She's tubby. It comes into like, the room first and then suddenly who the hell is yeah. Helen? <laughs> Nice to see you. She's fleshy, you won't miss yeah. her. The lips are hanging. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, yeah, I can see how we ended up in Did that Did somebody order a Domino's? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. <laughs> and then like, where's behind that vagina and pizza? <laughs> hey, girl. Hey, girl. Hey, girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, uh, well, watch this way up. Watch Helen's moose knuckle if you can. Oh, yeah. Type in Helen's oh, yeah. like, oh, Apollo Lovely view. Lovely view. <laughs> yes. Yeah, some, some for the last <laughs> <laughs> Stop that now! But hey, that's a on. that's a that's a brain that's a like. Th- remember, everything is future content. Every sadness and pain that you have, and some people don't get to do turn their pain into podcasts and stand up so and TV shows. True. So freaking true! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, content, till the, so. wait till the yeah. cartoon series Moose Snuggle. Yeah, and maybe you've recorded your Apollo. It's not out yet. God knows what you look like. Oh no doubt, there's something wrong with me. No, and listen, they'll they'll Impossible. let me know. They'll let me know. But listen, even if there's not, there'll be a new thing. They'll find it. For oh me. my god! They'll yeah, they it. do try. But when it's relevant, when it's right, that's the worst. You know, it really is. When it's specific, oh, that's that's tasty. That's a real was, sadness. I did a little like series on my, and then we will let you go. I did a little series on my Instagram because I was in Paris with a very new girlfriend, being like, "When will she propose?" Such a yeah. strong choice from Catherine. The amount, Such a strong choice. The amount of people replying, being like, "Um, hey, I thought you've only been dating like a little while." <laughs> I'm like, the number of people who believe, or like. Are you? Is it? Who believed me? I was like, fuck. But people didn't take it as a joke? No. I mean, it's a strong joke. All I'll give I you got, that as well. All I got replies wise was, um, hey, baby, it's not quite new. Or, really? Oh, oh my God. New. But also, like, when people, I'm saying this to you guys here, and I know that this is, but this is what the podcast is. But if you're commenting with genuine advice in comments Thank underneath you. something publicly, that is not being kind or helpful and it is unsolicited. I'm queen of unsolicited advice. Listen, I walk around the park telling people how to parent the children. <laughs> they have to say, have to have never had a child, never had a dog. Back, back. Back. Shoulders back. But that's me passing on the things that have been happened happen to me and I wish I knew sooner. Um, but with that sort of sooner stuff, or if you're trying to you're diagnose people yourself. with things underneath, <gasps> go, like, don't because that, remember that's an Instagram. It's not you personally talking to that. So it's mm-hmm. not a dialogue. Uh, mm-hmm. Commenters. 
you know. Now, I need to stop leaving comments. You've got to. Would you please stop? Would I you must. please? Hey, because everybody... you were right. It was too soon, but you shouldn't have said it. Otherwise. <laughs> And then publish my own Instagram yeah. story in response to Under Miss Michael 99, like we wouldn't know it was you. <laughs> there she comes, walking down the Type street. Type it with the lips, the old. Clip and a clop clop. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much to Ashley Bailey. Yay. 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 Oh, here are our top tier hog slots. This is our executive producers. Goodwin, Simon Moores, Mary Fox, Annie Tonner, Sarah Hockey Deacon, and Oliver Jago. What's up? You. Let's roll on some shit. Now let's get down to our producers, our piggies running around the sky, farting on each other. Thank you so much. And a big hoggy to Richard Bicknell, L, Richard Bold, Neil Redmond, Victoria Hutchison, Emma Walton. I can tell you're upset by this, Catherine. Keep going with the energy. Karen and David Bull, Harold Van Dyke, Tim and Dom, David Walker, Rachel R, Anthony Conway, Sadie Cashmore, Claire Owen Jones, Jess and Nick, Zoe, Sarah and Molly, Raya, I think. Raya, I think I crushed that. Cordelia. <laughs> Rachel Page, Helen A, Tina Lindsay, Graham Marsh, Emma G, Amy O'Reardon, Abby Voff, and our new little piglet, it's Key Web! Oh, thank you so much! <laughs> Thank you so much, all of you. And again, and now I get a truly sorry about that. 